जय श्री राम असलम वालेकुम गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे आई हैव ब्रॉट अप मोल्ड मेंटेनेंस ऑन द डिमांड फ्रॉम वन ऑफ द कोर ऑडियंस टुडे वी विल डिस्कस ऑन दिस सब्जेक्ट सो अंडरस्टैंडिंग द हॉट रनर प्रीवियसली लॉन्ग बैक बिफोर वी हैव ओनली मोल्ड विथ कोल्ड रनर सिस्टम वेयर प्लास्टिक मटेरियल आफ्टर द नोजल आफ्टर द हीटर ऑफ द बैरल्स इट्स कम आउट एंड गोइंग टू द मोल्ड द वे इन बिटवीन there was the cold system and we have to throw out that plastic material but now uh, with invent of hot runner mold this whole uh, molten material passes from the uh, barrel of the injection molding machine to up to the cavity so there is no wastage in that system so hot so defining to the hot runner system is an assembly of a heated uh, components used in plastic injection molding for injecting the material from barrel to the uh, mold cavity now developing the maintenance plan so we have to develop three criteria for the mold to uh, make the maintenance the first one is routine and preventive maintenance second is repetitive maintenance and the third is to consider that whether we have to go for the full mold maintenance or some of the part of the mold here we always have recommendation from the mold supplier that on certain period we have to go for certain maintenance so this when we are developing a maintenance plan we need to reconsider this that whether this data is supporting our production system or we have to readjust it let's see so uh, when you are preparing for hot runner maintenance there are three general step the first one is general preparation second step is this assembly and third reassembly so the general preparation is quite and the most important here we have to consider first of all when you thought when you think that we have to go for mold maintenance just review the past history of their of that particular mold how it was behaving and what the operators or the production staff had done with that mold the second one verify availability of tools all the tools you have to check before you go to the machine then confirm estimated breakdown what exactly happens that you are continuing the mold maintenance and the production team comes to you and they are saying we have to restart the machine asap so first you estimate the time and get agreed from the production team then only you unload the mold then the third one determine proper mold unloading procedure here unloading procedure usually people trying to do it shortcut so the unloading procedure must be communicated properly to the staff that is involved in the maintenance plan then identify critical areas and special tools some of the tools that is required especially for that mold this tools must be uh, collected before you start the maintenance otherwise in middle if you are going far to find it out and then you are not getting so this is unnecessary delay so uh, all the tools must be arranged before you unloading the mold then check the heater and thermocouples heater and thermocouples is the most critical parts of the hot runner mold then uh, another one is ejector so ejector assembly uh, that is more mechanically than the electrically but here the, in the ejection system mostly there is jamming for the ejection so uh, there may be rust or maybe the grease parts have been thickening their flow so their uh, work pathway so before correcting to this you must check the heater assembly and then you take out the ejector assembly now map the position of the heater and thermocouple position from the cavity gate to the uh, origin of the heater this uh, length uh, checking usually doesn't happen at the shop floor but if you have the facility if you have dial gauge and height gauge better to measure it because this is quite critical to reflect the temperature then in the disassembly there is a procedure recommended from the oem so simply follow that if you think uh, that the procedure need to change please discuss with your team thoroughly then you go for the implementation then the second one is the documentation documentation is much more important for the next time for the continuous improvement and for the faster cycle for the next time then clean all the tooling tooling uh, cleaning here again people doing uh, 
some shortcut. So avoid that shortcut. It should be thoroughly cleaned. Then make sure that no plastic residue inside the mold, or the uh, plastic particles remain inside the mold or remain on the nearby the heater under the heater. So that must be cleaned properly. Otherwise, again it will disturb to your uh, parameter settings. Then reassembly. Reassembly is simply that have uh, the way you have unmolded, uh, unscrewed it. You have to re-screw it. But the important thing to consider that soft brass, aluminium, and copper people usually use during the uh, disassembly. Avoid it to use into the reassembly because the fine parts of these materials can left in the mold. Then use the right tool for the right job. So right tool for the right job means when you are reassembling. That time, if you have using the wrong tools, again the the part may get uh, temporarily uh, out of order. Then work methodically. That don't forget install bolts, uh, dowels, spacers. These things I always uh, advises that before you unscrew it, count it properly. That how many bolts, how many dowels, and how many spacers have been in in one mold. So when you have counting of the bolt and when you are reassembling. That time recount this, and that will give you the exact data, exact confidence that it is the uh, maintenance is going well, reassembly is perfect. Then remember that many, many folds fail because of the way we put them together. Because this all is important because most of the time hot runner many fold get fail just because the wrong reassembly. So in that that time you must consider the number. And that you are uh, how many you have uh, unscrewed it. So <clears throat> at the end, I want to say that before the mold maintenance or the mold maintenance is a task like being proactive, creating data driven, and soft environment encouraging continuous improvement. Continuous improvement means you are taking care uh, the last month or last two month or last three month. And that what is going on with the mold and how it is behaving with the plastic material. So <clears throat> I will wait for your feedback. Thank you very much for.